Okay, we're here today uh, to talk about the secondary vacuum relief valve that's built into our Vacutron suction regulators. The secondary relief valve is actually a uh, mechanism built into um, our suction regulators, and you can see it right here. The purpose of this relief valve is actually um, as a backup in case the primary regulation mechanism can fail. I'm here with Ed Hildebrandt, our, te our technical service manager, and um, he's going to explain the various things that could happen over time that could cause uh, a regulation mechanism to be out of calibration or fail. Okay. Basically, this is your regulator assembly, and as you adjust the knob, you're pulling these rubber diaphragms up and down to allow more vacuum in and out. There's also a sensing disc on the tip here. Over time, that sensing disc will leave an impression, can fail, and then just the rubber goods over age and time can come, can fail and allow you to get a higher vacuum level than we specify. We basically say it specified maximum we should have 320 plus or minus 20 millimeters of mercury vacuum is what our settings are. In this case we've purposely adjusted this regulator so that it is above the 320 plus or minus 20. It's up actually up to about 500 and when we turn the vacuum on you will hear the relief valve, the ball inside here will give you an audio. Yep. One thing I want to mention as well is that this is the case with any suction regulator. Any suction regulator out there on the market has components like this that over time could wear, could cause your uh, set level to change and uh, to, uh, you know, if it were to tear or something, so uh, failure in the regulation mechanism. We're the only company that offers a secondary vacuum relief uh, as an additional safety measure should this happen over time. And again, we're talking about after uh, years of continuous use uh, and probably improper maintenance. Again, this well. is a uh, suction regulator in which we've modified it to uh, simulate a uh, regulator that has a compromised regulation mechanism or one in which the uh, regulator's gone, uh, you know, pretty far out of calibration. And you'll notice when we turn the vacuum source on full and uh, it's completely blocked off, you're going to see it's going over 300 millimeters of mercury. And you'll notice that noise. The noise you hear is actually the secondary relief valve engaging. That buzzing sound is a ball that's vibrating back and forth, uh, which is relieving the additional vacuum pressure as well as uh, causing an audible uh, noise. One thing you'll notice, you can see our gauge here, uh, and you'll see right now it's uh, relieving at about 300 and uh, about 320, right where it should, 320 plus or minus 10, and. Um, You'll notice this though, if we actually, um, if we block that relief valve, this is what the regulation mechanism, this is what any, any other suction regulator would be delivering. It would be delivering about uh, 550 millimeters of mercury. So you can see the, um, the use of this secondary relief valve greatly limits the amount of uh, the potential vacuum that would be delivered to a patient should a regulation mechanism fail.